Good morning, Knights. Welcome to the Knights Morning Show. I'm Carissa. Please join us for our morning pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge today to do my best. I have the courage to reach success. I will show kindness, uplift my friends, and give my all however I can. We will unite, one school, one team. We are knights. Let's fight for our dreams. Our entree for Wednesday, February 1st, will be pasta, meat sauce, Italian, chicken, Italian seasoned chicken strips, Alfredo sauce, eggs, salad, chef salad, and all American subs. Our vegetables will include roasted zucchini, green beans, garden salad, and sliced cucumbers. Hey Nights, the month of February is Black History Month. This month, we'll be learning about our Cambridge, Black History Month class projects. Let's learn about Linda D. Newman. Linda D. Newman was one of the many black or African American inventors. Lin Linda D. Newman was born approximately between 1865 and 1885 in Ohio. She was first a hairdresser before she became an inventor. Right after that, she became an activist when her invention, the hairbrush, became successful. Nobody as of today knows when she died or the exact birth date. The invention and design. Linda D. Newman was only 14 when she invented her modified version of the hairbrush. She, was, she first tested it out with her own hair. As soon as she saw it worked, she started selling it to New York. Many women from all around started buying the hairbrush. L Linda couldn't, could not believe that her invention was this successful. Invention impact. Linda D. Newman's invention created the hair care industry by making hairbrushes less expensive and easier to man manufacture. She paved the way for two other black inventors to revolutionize hair care and create an industry. She inspired other inventors to create more hair care products to sell and create profit profit off of. Modern day uses. If it wasn't for Linda D. Newman, we wouldn't have the nice durable hairbrush we have nowadays. Almost every person in the world can use the hairbrush. We all should be very thankful for Linda D. Newman's invention. Summary. In conclusion, we all should be very thankful that Linda D. Newman created her invention, the hairbrush. It changed the way we live significantly. Thank you for joining us, Knights. Please join us again tomorrow.